Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Shahbaz Khan. I'm 25 years old and I work in construction and property management in Croydon. Would you be so kind as to put the headphones on? How does Lady Zainab inspire you? So Lady Zainab has been a very important figure throughout my life. The first ziyara I went on was to uh, Syria in 2002 when I was eight years old. Uh, when you're eight years old, you may know the story of Karbala and what happened, but when you go to see Sayyidah Zainab, it's a different feeling. And I felt that instant connection as soon as I walked into the Haram. Um, I, I remember my, I just started crying. I wasn't sure why. Um, and then when they recited the Musibah of Sayyidah Zainab, what she went through, after the Battle of Karbala, after the day of Ashura, and how she was the one in charge of the whole family of Rasulullah, after Imam al Hussein, while Imam Sajjad was ill, and the things she had to do, and how she had to look after the, the family, was inspiring because for it to be a female figure who did such a thing, and um, with, with all the calamities that had befallen her, and how she held strong, there's a specific thing that I admire about Sayyidah Zainab and that is that she didn't even cry for her own two sons until she returned back to Medina and she saw their beds and their musallas uh, in their room. Um, that's when she cried for her own two sons. She put everyone before her and her family um, for the sake of Allah. And that's what inspires me about Sayyidah Zainab. When you think about the tragedy of Karbala, how does it make you feel? The tragedy of Karbala is something very special in my heart. Um, I go to Karbala for every Ashura and, and as many Ashura and Arba'in as I can. Um, and the connection with Imam al Hussein salam, is something that's very special because what Aba Abdullah did to save the religion for us and what he sacrificed for us to know who Rasulullah and who Allah is and what Salah is and what the principles of the religion are was all through the sacrifice of Aba Abdullah. If there was no Ashura and there was no Karbala, we wouldn't even know who God is. Um, there's a famous line that says that the blood of Imam al-Hussein is the, the blood that saved the phrase La ilaha illallah because without him we would not know what or who La ilaha illallah is. We wouldn't know of a God, we wouldn't know of a creator because without the sacrifice of Aba Abdullah, uh, we, we wouldn't know. What he sacrificed kept the message alive and Karbala and Ashura means a lot to me.
What lessons can you draw from the life of Lady Zainab, for example, her patience? Lady Zainab's life, salam alayha, is very unique and very special. From her birth through to her death, there were many tragedies. And she went through as early as the tragedy of the death of Rasulullah, followed by the death of Fatima al-Zahra, followed by the death of Amir al-Mu'mineen, followed by the death of Imam al-Hassan, all the way through to the death of Abba Abdullah and her brother Abu Fadl Abbas as well. Her life was fulfilled, her life was full of tragedy. Um, you know, there's a, again, going back to Urdu Nohas and stuff, there's a very famous line where, they, where Imam Ali says to say the Zainab, don't cry just yet when he's on his deathbed. He goes, Zainab, don't you know what's ahead of you? Do you not know what you're going to see when it comes to Ali al-Akbar and Qasim and Abbas and Hussein? And the, the fact that Sayyidah Zainab stayed strong through all of this, she was, she was the pivotal figure in keeping the message alive after Abba Abdullah. If Sayyidah Zainab had not stood up and spoken and said the words she had said, um, Yazid would have been successful in his mission in killing the lineage of Ahl bayt But it was the words of Sayyidah Zainab, it was the actions of Sayyidah Zainab that kept that message alive after the sacrifice of Abba Abdullah. And she's a very important role in the religion of Islam. We have, uh, we have 12 Imams, but when it comes to women, we have a few. And Sayyidah Zainab is one of those few that kept the message alive. What do you most admire about Lady Zainab? The thing I admire the most about Sayyidah Zainab عليها, is her courage. For a woman in the time of Bani Umayyah to stand up and speak out against the Khalif of the time who was Yazid for her to do that was something spectacular because women weren't given such a status in society and for Sayyid Zainab to stand up and say what she did in front of all the people all of the honored people amongst the people of Sham for Sayyid Zainab to stand up and speak out against Yazid was something absolutely courageous and something only someone from the lineage of Amir al-Mu'mineen could do. We see Sayyid Zahra did it against the Khulafa of her time and similarly her daughter Sayyid Zainab did the same and this can only come from the lineage of Rasulullah. Lady Zainab spoke out against the injustice of the Umayyad rulers. What do you think this tells us about her character? Well, like I said, it takes someone of absolute courage to stand up against the Khalifs, um, especially a lady. And uh, we saw it with Fatima al-Zahra against the Khalifs of her time. And only someone from the lineage of Rasulullah could do such a thing. Um, she's the daughter of Haydar. And what Imam Ali could, Imam Ali was the most feared person on the battlefield. And what he could do with his sword, say the Zainab did that with her tongue. When they were brought into Sham, people were throwing rocks and hot water and rubbish at them, not knowing who they were. When Sayyid Zainab came up and spoke out and told the people who she is and who the people with her were, people cried. And to change someone's emotion from hatred to that of remorse and love, these are the words of Sayyid Zainab. And this was what Sayyid Zainab accomplished and what she could do simply by talking out against the Khalif. Lady Zainab had strong principles and universal values such as justice and humanity. How do these values affect your daily life? For example, if you see an injustice, how do you respond? Sayyid Zainab taught us many things, um, mainly that of courage and patience. When she saw the slaughter of Abba Abdullah, he ordered her to stay patient and she did exactly that. One of what the, the underlying thing there is to listen to the Imam of your time. No matter what Sayyidah Zainab wanted to do, the overall order by Abba Abdullah was stay patient. And Sayyidah Zainab did exactly that. When we look at the lesson from that simple conversation and that action, when Imam al Hujjah, Ajjal Allah Ta'ala Faraj al Sharif, comes to us one day and he says, do something, Sayyidah Zainab is the one who showed us, do exactly what he says. And that is the most important lesson that I found because I can't imagine the position she would have been in to stand on Tilla Zainabiya and watch Shimr sit on the chest of Abba Abdullah and knowing that Abba Abdullah said to her, stay patient, stay patient. And she did exactly that. And for us, what would we have done in that situation? Would we have listened to our Imam or would we have gone to protect our brother or sister in that situation? Sayyidah Zainab was the one that showed us, be patient, listen to the Imam of your time. And she did exactly that. Similarly, with her courage and standing up against injustice, 
when she walked into the darbar or the, the courtyard of Yazid and people were throwing things at her, she stayed patient throughout this whole process. She spoke when she needed to speak and she didn't speak when it was not necessary. And this, these were the qualities, these are the qualities we should learn from Sayyidah Zainab. Not everything has to be said, but when something needs to be said, make sure it's powerful and make sure it's the right thing that needs to be said. In what ways is Lady Zainab a role model to you? Lady Zainab is a role model in so many ways. Um, she taught us the sanctity of hijab. She taught us the importance of keeping a family together. She taught us the importance of sacrifice. She taught us the importance of patience, of courage. Um, when it comes to Sayyidah Zainab, there's so many lessons we can learn. She put the family of Ahl al-Bayt in front of hers. She mourned over Ali al-Akbar before she mourned over her own children. She listened to the orders of Abba Abdullah when he told her to stay patient. She, th there's so many ways in which Sayyidah Zainab is a role model. And for the sacrifice she went through, just, just the, the patience and the sacrifice is incredible. And it's something we should try and apply to our daily lives. Sometimes you want to say something spiteful, bite your tongue, learn from the hijab of Sayyidah Zainab. She, she didn't speak out of turn. She only said what was required to be said, what needed to be said. And these are things we should try and imply, uh, apply to our daily lives and daily routines. What can Lady Zainab teach us about being loyal and committed to the Imam of our time, like she was to Imam Hussein, the Imam of her time? I mentioned patience earlier, and Imam Hussein told Sayyidah Zainab to remain patient. Um, I can't imagine if somebody saw their sibling being butchered on a battlefield, how they wouldn't, wouldn't have tried anything to stop it. But Abba Abdullah told Sayyidah Zainab, be patient through this process. And Sayyidah Zainab was loyal and such that she listened to the words of Abba Abdullah. And through that, we see what she was capable of later in the, the, the courtyard of Yazid and the things she said. And loyalty towards the Imam and loyalty towards her family was something that Sayyidah Zainab is famous for and known for. She stuck through, she was with Imam Hussein from the whole journey once they left Medina all the way through to after the death of Abba Abdullah till they reached back to Medina. Sayyidah Zainab was so grief struck and there's narrations that say that when she reached back to her house in Medina, her back was bent and her hair had turned gray. This was the grief that Sayyidah Zainab went through by sticking to and sticking with and being loyal to Abba Abdullah. If you were given the opportunity to tell the world about Lady Zainab, how would you describe her? Sayyidah Zainab, after the sacrifice of Abba Abdullah, was that beacon of light that kept the Ahlul Bayt alive. Yazid tried everything he could to try and eliminate Ahlul Bayt from this world. But through Sayyidah Zainab, she kept it alive. And we know who Allah and the Ahlul Bayt are through the words and through the sacrifice and patience of Sayyidah Zainab. If you could leave a message for Lady Zainab, what would you say? لاش تک سہائی حسین بس میں گھبرائی تھی خنجر تجھ پہ چلتا دیکھ کر I